Okay, good morning class. Welcome back. Today we shall be beginning with the third chapter in geography that is overpopulation and underpopulation. Now you are already familiar with this term overpopulation and underpopulation because we have already done it in the previous chapter in population dynamics. So this chapter is like a continuation of the second chapter that is population dynamics. Now first let us begin with overpopulation population now what do you mean by overpopulation the term overpopulation refers to a situation where there are too many people living in a certain area in comparison to the resources available all right so when the resources are less now you have already done what is the meaning of resources and population all right so let's learn about the relationship between the two now resources are those things which help human beings in carrying out activities or simply living a normal life for example food shelter clothing recreational facilities all these are resources now in a certain area if there are too many people living there but the resources like food is unavailable for everybody that means the population is high it is over populated so for example if there are 24 sorry 25 students in the class but there are only 15 chairs and tables if there are only 15 chairs and tables so 15 chairs and tables is the resources for the students which helps the students to sit properly comfortably in the class and do they and attend to their classes so the population is high because when you compare when we say population is high what are we comparing it to how do you know it is high we know that the population is high because the resources available is low it is less so in comparison when the number of population is more than the resources available the population is high and this situation is known as overpopulation so from your book the term overpopulation means that a region has too many people but not enough resources okay not enough resources to maintain a reasonable standard of living now let us do causes of overpopulation what are the reason what are the causes behind the population being overpopulated now the first one if you see is birth rate and death rate now we have already done birth rate and death rate in the previous chapter now birth rate if it is high if the birth rate is high it means that there are more number of people being born that means every day people are being born and it is increasing the number of people that is being born every day is increasing day by day but on the other hand death rate is low death rate is low in compare for example if we say if the population was 200 and in a particular day 100 died sorry 100 was born so total population becomes 300 but out of the 100 born 5 died so 100 were born but only 5 died so 295 so there was a growth of 95 so you can see that if the birth rate is high but the death rate is low then the population will start increasing and it will cause a situation of overpopulation now the second one is poverty that means the people are not able to sustain their livelihood they might they might not have a job so they might not be working they are not earning so they are unable to look after their family now what happens is if do, they do not now sometimes in especially in the poor families because they go begging 
okay they earn their livelihood through begging in the streets now you see that now you might be thinking especially in the uh, railway stations you see that small girls have given birth to many children now why do they do this is even though they are poor they give birth to many children so that they have these small children they can go out and then they can go and bring back some food or some money by begging so that there are more number of hands to do work okay and these small children also they can go and beg and then bring a little earning back home so this way they can look after themselves so poverty is also one of the reasons why population is increasing okay so let me repeat once again poverty is the second reason why there is overpopulation in a particular region or a country it is because poor people do not have proper jobs to look after their family they give birth to more number of children so that these children can go out into the streets beg and bring back some food or some money all right okay economically poor nations do not have the capacity to support their growing population also the families living below the poverty line try to cope with the their poverty by increasing the size of the family that means by giving birth to more number of people to increase the earning hands okay now the third one is illiteracy and lack of family planning now illiteracy is a situation now you have already learned what is the meaning of literacy in the previous chapter literacy is a situation where you know how to read you know how to write and you have a little bit of under at least little bit of understanding if not more now when we come to illiteracy it is just the opposite that means you don't have proper education you don't have proper education so you are not qualified so if you are not qualified you do not get a job if you do not get a job then obviously you are poor so again going back to the second topic because you are poor now these people they do not have proper family planning now they do not because they are uneducated they do not know the effects the ill effects or the negative effects of a large population in the entire region okay so they do not know or they will not be able to understand what are the harmful effects of having a large population so they do not plan their family well so literacy rates in developing mostly agro based nations are low meaning in these nations the number of people that are educated is extremely low increase in literacy rates improve the general awareness of people and change their attitudes towards family size so once you are educated you become aware of the ill effects of a large population so you plan your family well but if you are illiterate you will not be able to plan your family well and then you will not be able to control the birth lack of effective and enforced family planning policies also leads to overpopulation so these are the three main causes of overpopulation of a region now next we shall start with impact of overpopulation i'm just going to do two here and we'll continue in the next class okay the first one is <coughs> impact now after there is overpopulation in, in a region what happens what is the impact that it has on the natural resources now as a result of overpopulation there is great pressure on resources such as food and water okay so if there are more number of people if the population keeps on increasing then you will need space for people to live now if there is not enough space then what are we going to do we are going to cut down the trees and make space available for people to live so what are we doing we are cutting down resources we are cutting down trees plants these give us fruits 
we breathe oxygen that is given by the plants and the trees now these trees give us fruits it is the resting place it is the homes to lots of animals and birds but what are we doing we are cutting down the trees we are spoiling the environment and we are depleting that means we are taking up the resources in such a way that we are not see a tree minimum it takes at least around five years to go one tree takes five years minimum of five years to grow properly to become its proper height understood but what are we doing in five years we have cut down so many trees that we are not waiting for the trees to grow up properly we are depleting the resources that means we are using the resources in such a way in such a uh, speed that we are not giving them time to grow understood okay growing population and limited food resources leads to increase in imports so if your country does not have enough resources for its people what has the government to do the government has to import from other countries so once you start importing the expense of the country becomes higher instead of focusing on other things the government of that country has to focus on exporting so many things for its people okay so now if you start importing on a very high level it will create a national debt okay second one environmental hazards so this is the last topic i'll be doing today all right the growth in population you start when there is an increase in population the amount of things the pollution that takes place in the environment the amount of vehicles that is used the amount of things that is consumed in the environment also increases so this leads to air water soil land pollution how air is because more people means more number of vehicles more number of vehicles means the carbon dioxide that is being emitted from the vehicles leads to air pollution now like i said growth in pollution also requires larger spaces for people to live now, when we require larger spaces if we don't have we start cutting down trees and forest so and industrialization now because there are more number of people industries and uh, industry starts growing up everywhere now these urbanization these industrialization means that there it is leading to more number of pollution because the factories what do they do they take and dump their waste products in the rivers so these waste product and the factories because it use uses petroleum coal it gives out harmful gases in the air understood so now the air is also polluted the water is also polluted and because some factories use chemicals now these chemicals are emitted into the water now these the water from the rivers the polluted water is used in the agricultural fields and now again the land is also polluted okay so that is how the environment is also being polluted because of overpopulation okay so i'll be doing till here today in the next class i'll be doing the other three topics